Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes it's Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Becoming a Better Pilot at Star Citizen. As you can see I'm going to be um, flying the Aegis Dynamic Gladius, except I'm going to be getting out of here for a couple reasons. Essentially I, had, I was playing before and I had actually started recording and my weapons were locked for some reason, they didn't work, and I want to show you my loadout anyways, so I will exit the sim, I will jump down these stairs because that would not break both my legs. And I will show you exactly what loadout I am currently using. So, here's the holo tab. I'm going to be using the Agus Dynamics Gladiator. I'm going to be using two mass drivers on the sides here. And for some reason, one of them spawned in without ammo. So let's go ahead and grab this is 20 millimeter ammo and put it in the center here. I, d I didn't actually remove this, so I'm not sure why it spawned without it all of a sudden. But hopefully that'll do the trick. These are mass drivers. They do have ammo. Lovely. So that's what I'm going to be using. The mass drivers are pretty much like rail guns. They fire incredibly powerful shots. And I find that I hit a lot better with them. Because it makes me focus more individually on the shots instead of having to like track the target for a long period of time. So let's go to the Spectrum match here. Public match. And I will join you again when I load up into a match, and I'm going to pick the right ship here. I often pick the wrong ship just because. See you guys very shortly. So I've loaded back in now. I'm not entirely sure the recording has started, but I'm going to assume that it has. So last time my weapons were grayed out for some reason, and I couldn't use them. This time they appear to be working. On the other hand, they appear to also not be the mass driver, so... You know, there's always that, I guess. So I'll just be going with the basic loadout for the ship, fortunately. Or unfortunately, I don't know. So let's see if I can get some kills with this. And I'm using the wrong ship. No. So what happened there is I was actually booted from the first game. I tried to join with the right ship, and then it reset the ship that I was selecting, so I ended up entering the game without the right ship again. So it is loading in now, apparently, although I'm still just seeing this broken moon. There we go. Better. Now let's see if I can actually get some kills now. I've kind of screwed around with my targeting system, so it is a bit different now. And remember, people will be like... I will be freezing the game over and over again as um, people spawn in. And currently there seems to be just about no one in the game. Here we go, one guy, one more guy, I'm gonna celebrate, oh yeah, gonna lock my missiles. So I do have that sledge, I have the scorpion as my main weapon. Um, all of these are fairly close range weapons, so it might be a little while until I can actually fire at him. He does not actually appear to be after me at the moment, though. By the way, some people in this game are phenomenal flyers. So do not expect me to do too well. Oh, and right as I was trying to track him. Okay. So I did not hit him. Oh, is he has first blood already? What the hell? Okay. What? Oh, I bet I know why. Yes! I damaged him. I didn't kill him, though. I did a lot of damage. 500 points worth of damage is a fuck ton of damage. And he appears to have lost control surfaces, so he is now easy pickings. Oh, someone you might steal him from me. No. I don't, I really want to get this kill myself. He's missing parts, he's missing his entire front section, but he's moving faster than I can possibly move at the moment. And I think I actually need to turn around and get the guy behind me. Which is too bad. Because this guy is a little dick. Little dicker, can you find another way? No more dick in life behind the shadows. Whoa, those are some close range missiles. So apparently my main missiles are the ones that are grayed out right now are very close range only. I was really hoping for an actual hit there on him. I can't see my reticle when he's close to the planet there. It is the Mustang, huh? So this Mustang, I should be able to outfly like hell because it is not the greatest of ships. I damaged him. 
Um, somebody is apparently spawning in, or I'm just getting lots of lag. And... No, not the lag! Where's the lag coming from? Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Cotton lag, Joe. And crashed right into him. I'm not sure if I actually... I actually did any damage to him there. I would have been awarded points for it, so I can check right after I'm done. So you can tell the actual space battles are a tiny bit disorienting. So let's um spawn in again. Check my score. I really don't like that my kill was stolen there at the very end. I didn't manage to check my score in time there too. I'm still in third place right now with 800 points and no kills. So let's try to rectify that. Let's try to rectally rectify that. I like to always start by focusing a couple missiles on whoever I'm targeting and just targeting the closest person. Sometimes you can actually identify somebody as a particularly weak fi flyer. Now, I actually want to change my target here because this guy is after a different guy and that makes him very easy to predict and I can just kind of swoop in there with some missiles and kill the hell out of him and that lag is coming back, is somebody spawning in? Am I getting kicked? Am I getting kicked? Game, are you kicking me out? Kicking me out, kicking me, kicking me. You know, somebody else joining. So, see, he's flying a very predictable pattern now. I apparently did not hit him with that. But I am getting really close. No, I didn't want to lock the missiles, I wanted to fire them. I'm verging the simulation boundaries, shouldn't matter too much. I'm gonna match my speed with him. So I can actually corner a bit better. I killed him! I also rammed him, but I did kill him. So that was a very pathetic kill, actually, all things considered. But that might actually put me in first place here. No, still in third place. I am not missing either of my weapons. So that's what kind of what I was afraid of, that one of those weapons would, um come back to bite me in the ass. I did accidentally fire all my missiles at that previous guy. I did not mean to do that. But I am not mean either, so hopefully that makes up for it. I'm not mean, but I'm not well. No, no, I wanted this guy. Okay, there we go. Now I've matched the speed. Um, everyone tends to fly at top speed in these matches. Very few people deal with their throttles much, so matching speed is really just a formality, I guess. Let's um, catch up a bit, kind of get a bit closer, then match the speed, and then try to go after this guy, who has the unfair um, disadvantage of having two people after him at the same time, and one of those people has mass drivers. Managed behind me now, so somebody's decided that he's not doing enough target. So let's um, go ahead and turn around and very quickly switch targets here and maybe hide behind that asteroid. Inbound missile, I launched chaff to get rid of it. It didn't seem to work. And lag. Okay, so let's actually fly through these rocks and hopefully they will block whatever is currently after me. Why is the missile still after me? Okay, so the same guy's after me right now. Um, I'm gonna cut my throttle. And then lag out. Get a collision alert. Turn around. And just wait for him. Oh, he's actually quite far away now. I'm not sure where that missile came from then. I just wasted a lot of time running away from somebody who apparently wasn't even directly behind me. That's alright though. Let's match speeds with this guy and get a hit off. He's in a regular Hornet. Should be fairly easy to fly. I didn't get the kill, but I did damage him quite a bit there. And you do get points for damage and killing in this, so you don't actually need to get the full kill in order to get points or to even be in first. Okay, that was unfortunate. I really thought I was going to get the hit with that got one there. Let's um, actually cut my throttle here and kind of space turret it up for a bit. 
So he doesn't like what I'm doing right now because I'm actually just tracking him and being a, a mobile turret here. Oh god, the incoming missiles. He's fired like a million of them. Okay, I managed to evade all of them. I'm almost ready out though, which is a bit of a problem, but not much of one. He's very unfortunately for himself also kind of spinning out there. He must have hit something or been confused for a second. So all I did there is damage him. Um, one unfortunate thing is a lot of people who are not very good pilots, myself included in this game, will not change their course and will just run directly into you like that. So as you can see, that is something that happens quite a bit. And actually, I can blame a lot of my deaths on that. That is alright, though. There's a pretty cool shot of a Super Hornet there, or just a Hornet. Can't really tell from that angle which Hornet he has. Let's go ahead and check my score while I'm up here. I've slipped to fourth place, but you know, I'm actually doing fairly decently for kills. I have the feeling I'd be doing a bit better if I was a bit better at tracking them from close range. Or if I didn't waste all my missiles on that one guy. I have two, I guess, single platforms and only one double for my missiles? Damn, that sucks. Well, apparently I'm using both of those missiles, whatever they are. So let's go ahead. I'm closing in on him. I have two missiles locked. I just want it to start actually locking the missiles. Come on, start locking the missiles. Okay, they won't start doing it, so I might as well start shooting at it. How close do I need to be to these guys before it will lock? I do not understand these missiles that I have. So I launched them both now. These had better be like the best missiles ever. If I have to get that close to use them. Oh, it didn't even go through his shields. Okay, I'd better match his speed right now. I think he might be after me just like I'm after him at the moment. Okay, come on. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, God, he just fucking crashed into an asteroid. What a dick. I had him. Well, I probably didn't have him, but you know, you know the feeling. Okay, those missiles are not after me. And this guy is very fortunately kind of a sitting duck at the moment. I can't see him. Oh, and I'm dead. I It says Crash Roberts down there eventually. I don't think I died by crashing. I don't know what that means. And I can't even tell if I did. Whoa. Hey, dude, you look like you're having some trouble there. You might need like a ship repairment to get your fucking hull back. Oh, probably the most important probably the least appreciated but most important part of flying in space is actually having something to fly in like all the engines yeah they're all good and stuff but the big chunk of metal that you're actually inside of also fairly important most of the time <laughs> I sometimes love the glitchiness in this game let's unlock on a couple missiles here I actually have a have range on this guy especially with my um, drivers with my mass drivers I can't seem to track very well though. The um, tricky thing is you can never really... Oh! Okay, that was entirely my fault. To be fair, I wasn't expecting him to be a cutlass, so I, he was a lot bigger than I expected, so I dodged out of the way, but then I dodged right into him. I actually um want to save the Rex necessary in order to get the cutlass because I think the Cutlass is pretty awesome. I'm actually um, not sure why it was so zoomed out there. Okay, sorry, using my mouse for a second. And uh, what I wanted to do is actually zoom in a couple times. I like to hit the scroll wheel on the mouse once or twice, just so I can, oh God, no. I like to hit the scroll wheel on the mouse a time or two, just so I can um, actually get a better view of what's going on. I completely forgot about that until just now though. So I'm going to cut my throttle right now, and then just um, fly and turret this guy. Let's speed up again, match his speed. You can always match target velocity. Where did he go? 
Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? I, I have no target. I had better reacquire a target. As far as I know, as far as I could tell, he just fucking vanished into the ether. Apparently, he's still after me. So, trying to pull up here, but I don't seem to be able to do so fast enough to actually get the beat on him. Let's um, actually cut the throttle here for a second. He shouldn't be going too far. Don't I have uh, missiles on him? By the way, I'm not going very fast right now. I'm just kind of... Oh, come on. Well, I did some damage to him. Oh, this is a really tight dogfight here. I am still moving. I'm just not moving very fast at this moment. Now I'm moving a bit faster. I match my speed to this guy. Oh, shit. Okay, it was killed by somebody else while I wasn't paying attention. And lag. Lag. Lag weaver, I believe you can lag me through the night. I think I killed him too. <laughs> it said he killed me, I think I deserved a portion of the credit there. Okay. So, my score has probably dropped again. I'm, yeah, pretty much in second last place now. Usually, I seem to place about middle of the road at this point. I think the main thing I could probably use working on is not crashing directly into people. That seems to be a huge problem for me. And also, I don't seem to be able to track very well. I realize that apparently the mouse is the absolute best way to actually get kills. But doesn't that just ruin, ruin your guys' experience using a mouse? I don't know, I'm not a big fan, personally. Um, no offense to anybody sitting in the room who might use mouse or who might like mice. I, I just like having this crazy throttle thing. It's entirely aesthetic, clearly. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's get a couple missiles on him. Oh. Two missiles. Where'd they go? Where did he come from? Where did he go? And... I really thought I actually had feet on him there, but I really didn't. Wow, I was not even aware I was taking much damage there. That guy in the Mustang is just way too good. I want one of those. Liking that damage animation that just went on there. I think that is the next thing I'm going to save my rec for. Although, if I keep on with this performance, I will not be earning much of it. It's 20,000 rec to get um, the Cutlass. It's the most expensive ship that is currently for rent in the digital store. And generally, if you do even half all right, you'll get like a thousand. So I'm, I really want to go after that guy there. Ah. I apparently just crashed directly into an asteroid. This is becoming more embarrassing by the second. How close are we to actually ending this map? Stop by for yes, I know, reintegration. So it's first to 20,000. Oh, we're not even close. I might actually divide this into two parts, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. And for me in like one second.